Hi guys, today I'd like to discuss the reasons why collaboration can be good for your business. My name is Carl from Buzz Website Design and it's our job to help you to reach more customers, typically through your website and your online marketing channels. Okay, so what do I mean by collaboration? Well, thankfully most folks understand what collaboration means. It means when two people, two groups of people get together to work together for a common goal or common results. The great thing is about when you run a small business is that there are loads and loads of opportunities for collaboration if you will only think slightly differently and look to work with people who share certain things with you. So okay, why should we collaborate? Well, one of the best things about collaboration is that when two people come together uh, in a business agreement whereby you can share resources to reach a wider audience, that should be beneficial to both parties. And I mean that, for example, if you run businesses which are complementary but not competing, but they have the same target market, then it makes sense to try and work out a way of uh, working together to reach t that target market from two different angles instead of just one. A fairly simple example is a florist and a wedding photographer working together to reach the wedding market. They don't compete but they have the same target market and that between them they can have twice the impact in that market uh, as they would have done on their own. As a, a straightforward example, we've been in discussion recently with an IT support company who regularly get asked if they build websites and of course they don't. It would make sense if they were able to pass that work on to us. Having said that, we get asked here and there if we do IT support and we don't, neither do we really want to, but it would be useful to have somebody on hand who can simply say, well actually we work with these guys. And that relationship between us becomes mutually beneficial. Now it could well be that you share the profits with your collaborator in your target market. So for example, if you run a website com design company like us and you work with somebody who does social media management, then you could effectively contract them out to your clients, we could, uh, and in exchange for a share of the profits and likewise when the social media management company has a potential website project. And also if you are working together on projects then you could potentially share the workload which means that between you you could get an awful lot more done, potentially you could pitch for higher value projects. A good example in recent years has been groups of contractors coming together to bid for public sector contracts um, as a uh, collaboration, a conglomerate, rather than just individually. Another benefit of collaboration is that it could end up broadening out your service, service offering to your target market. Now, there are some caveats with this, and as in all things, you do need to work out the relationship quite carefully and work out the relationship, what gives and takes both ways, quite um, meticulously wherever possible. In essence, the relationship, the collaboration, has to be mutually beneficial. Both sides need to be getting something out of the arrangement, whether that's increased market share, um, potential customers, um, recognition in the marketplace, branding, PR, what have you. There has to be a relationship that benefits both ways. And if it doesn't, it really, really could go sour really quickly. As an example, I used to work with an accountancy firm that wanted to uh, try partnering up with a law firm and only one side of the relationship was passing work over and this quickly became a very, very sticky relationship that eventually fell apart because one side wasn't really getting anything out of it. So you do need to think carefully about who you're working with, what the relationship is going to be and what you're likely to be able to pass backwards and forwards and how that's going to benefit one another. So in essence, you do need to be honest with yourself and honest with your collaborator. If you see it working this way and they disagree, it may not necessarily be right for you, but if it isn't going right, you need to be able to discuss it, uh, get it aired early on so you can work it out or again, break it up. Ultimately, collaboration depends on relationships. It depends on trust and it depends on a mutually workable arrangement that you know everyone in the arrangement can benefit from. That's you, your collaborator and your target market, your customers, etc. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of food for thought. If you've got any questions or want some ideas, then please, please get in touch. It'd be great to hear from you. You can write in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. The, the links are somewhere, I'm sure, um, because we produce one of these videos roughly once a week and YouTube will let you know. So once again, thanks very much and bye for now.